everyone and welcome to today's video so total oh, catch my breath spur of the moment video but we've just basically spent the day shopping me and grant finally had a day off together well i was back at school because it's been the holidays so as much as like we were both off yesterday it was still the holidays and we we're just getting ready for i to be back at school so we went shopping um so this is just a bit of a random haul i've got stuff from lush i got stuff from asos i got stuff from super like makeup i've got stuff from sports direct a primark a little bit of everything i have this massive bag full of stuff so some of this is mine some of it's grants and i thought i'd just sit down and share because i sorry i quite like haul videos and just because I kind of like seeing what people buy, it kind of tells you a lot about a person, like things that are not just like makeup. So yeah, if you like these types of videos, then please stick around to watch the video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Tash McZombie and welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell next to it because apparently YouTube doesn't tell people when they've uploaded videos. Which, honestly, I have noticed because I'm subscribed to, I'm just going to have a little bit of a rant. I'm not a big channel. I have less than 100 subscribers and I value each and every one. Don't get me wrong. You know, I've only been doing YouTube for a year and that does me fine. But, like, I follow so many YouTubers and it is. I feel like I'm missing out on so many videos because I'm not being notified, even though I've hit that bell. I'm still not getting them in my subscription feed, which is really, it is really, really infuriating. Um, especially because there's YouTubers that I love and I'm like, why are they not uploading videos anymore? And I go on their channel and see that they are. I'm just not being told. I don't know. I don't know. It just frustrates me that like, sorry, my cats are running about my feet. If I keep looking down, it's because there's probably a cat like on my foot. So just in case you're wondering, I mean, I don't upload that often, I'm going to be honest, just because I'm busy, I don't dedicate a ton of time to YouTube because I don't, anyway, just because I work and I'm at uni, so I don't have that much time to dedicate. So I mean, I am sorry if I don't upload enough, I don't upload as much as I used to, but hopefully that will change. Anyway, that just turned into a bit of a weird rant um about youtube there but just in case you're wondering why i say please hit that notification bell just because it makes sure that you know when i upload so let's get into it so first i'm going to start with what i got from this is in no particular order what i got on asos so first i got this i know right Th this this it's it, it's bright it's puma puma it's sporty. What is this? But this is the back. I love this back detail, like the crisscross down the back. And I love that it's a cold shoulder top. I love cold shoulder tops because it feels like I can still show like some of my tattoos, even though I don't know. I just like when your tattoos are kind of poking through. And then I like the back detail. I only have one tattoo on my back, so so I got this on ASOS and it doesn't have the price on it it was in a sale so I think it was like £21 I wanted the joggers that went with it but they were like £30 and I was like I can't justify spending £50 just on clothes I'm gonna wear to the gym because I go to the gym now and but I was joking because in high school I used to get in trouble because I would never do gym I hated gym I was this thin as well back then I just didn't value fitness when I didn't feel I needed it. I guess I was a wee golf. I was like to my gym teacher, I was like, I don't own trackies because I'm a golf. I'm too golf to own clothes for PE class. I was such a wee shit. And now I'm like, look at me. I buy bright, colourful, sporty, stretchy clothes. In all fairness, though, back in my cyber golf days, I would have been like all over this and being like worn this to the clubs because it's like breathable so it's super stretchy it has this really nice like band which is really nice so it is a crop top but I didn't quite I think I had a feeling it would have been my thought would have been a bit longer from the pictures online 
So obviously you were supposed to get the trousers that go with it, but I just couldn't, and now they don't have them. Well, they have them in black and purple, but they're £50. And is it just me? Is that just a ridiculous amount of money to spend on something you just wear to the gym? Or if you're going on a run? Like, it's not something you wear every day unless you live in your sports clothes. So, regardless though, I thought this was just bright and cheerful. Help if I actually had it on the camera. And I thought it was really... I love the colours. I just... Makes going to the gym a little more amusing, I guess. So, to go with it, I did go into town because I was a bit self-conscious that my current gym leggings wouldn't come up high enough otherwise I'd just have like belly hanging out so my boobs look really low down in the studio touching my boobs so um we're in sports direct because Grant needed some new gym trainers and I just picked up these so these are carry more run like gym leggings so I like that these seem like they're gonna sit obviously not there I'm sitting down so it's kind of hard to like show but like I kind of feel like these would sit higher up so I could wear them and these are like three quarter lengths as well which I just kind of prefer um and I like the pink band so I kind of figured that it would go with this yeah they go yeah so I kind of figured it would go with this since this is a crop top I wanted something that would just sit a bit higher up on my waist and these do so and these were like in the sale so I got these for like £16 and even full price these were cheaper than the Puma ones. I know these are like a less big brand and there's like a pocket in the butt which always amazes me because my other ones have a butt pocket but it's tiny you can't put anything in there or maybe like an iPod I guess. Am I just showing my age? Does anyone even use an iPod anymore? Because everyone just has everything on their phone. So, yeah, I got them. Nothing tremendously exciting. Well, maybe, if you like sports clothes. Um, Just because I wanted something a bit more colourful to the gym. Because right now, I'm just wearing, like, a black kind of strappy top that I got in Asda. And then a kind of black with, like, a green waistband that I got in Matalan. And they're fine. I got them for my bike, actually. Um... But I just wanted something a bit different and a bit more colourful. So then also I got some NYX blotting papers. Because I, your girl, is an oily skin person. My skin is so ridiculously oily. It's a nightmare. I just blotted and repowdered my face before filming. But like, ugh, oil. So I just got these NYX blotting papers. I've had these before, but I had the green ones, which were the green tea ones. So these are the tea tree ones. So these ones are more recommended for like your T-zone. And I like the little love heart sticker. So just got them. Um, so that's that stuff. So sticking with that, I'll stick with makeup possibly. Sorry, there's this bag is down here and I'm trying to like reach into this bag and be like, here's, well actually, yes. So the main reason we went to town is Grant has a job interview coming up next week and she looks really, really good job. So he wanted a new shirt, so he got this one in Primark. And I thought this was nice because I thought it was still like really smart, but then like just a bit like it's not just plain white, which is just a bit glaring and a bit boring. So I quite like the paisley blue pattern on it. Because he has a blue shirt, but I don't know. It doesn't really suit him. And we kind of, I quite like like the dark collar, which I thought was really nice. So he got that shirt for his interview along with this tie which is nice because a lot of them sorry the light is just glaring so this is like kind of almost like a tweed kind of material this only cost three pound and it's just like a really nice light gray and i think it goes really well with this shirt like what do you think i think that goes well just because like a lot of them had like big bold patterns and i was like you don't want pattern on top of pattern but then he didn't want something, uh, he didn't want black, he didn't want something like too novelty and too bright. And I kind of, there was another one that was similar that was more purple toned, which was nice, but he decided he wanted the grey one. So we got them in Primark. And then oh, we also got, so Grant bought like boxing stuff. And we've been like doing boxing, but like her wrists get really sore, especially if you're holding the pads. And like Grant 
like I'll be holding them and he boxes so hard and my wrists I'm like they're gonna snap off so we got like wrist support things for like boxing with because and Ivy used to do boxing classes so she's been boxing with us as well and we really like boxing so they're just like hand and wrist protectors so practical stuff um Sorry, I'm like reaching into this bag. What to talk about next? Okay, so I'm kind of whizzing for it. I'm gonna. So that's all the kind of sporty clothes stuff we got. So maybe I'll do makeup last. I'll do makeup last. Yeah. So then I discovered. So I have not been shopping down Princess Street in Edinburgh in a hot minute I work which is funny because I work on Princess Street in Edinburgh I work at Wittards but it's like the top end of Princess Street and then I'll walk down like if you're from Edinburgh I'll walk to Marks and Spencer's to get my bus um and I used to work in Lush so if you can hear my cats fighting I do apologize um yes yeah, so, I mean when I worked in Lush like a couple of years ago I guess maybe I'd spend more time like actually going around the shops of Princess Street but it's just somewhere I never go. I do a lot of my shopping online. I get very self-conscious shopping. Or because we have a car, we we just tend to, like, we'll just either go to the fort or we'll go to Livingston. You know, just because town's like a nightmare to park. But warbling on, I kind of discovered that it was all these shops. I didn't even know were there. And I bet you'd have been there for years. I've just never noticed. So there was a, there's a calf kids in store now on Princess Street. There used to be one, if it's not still there, on George Street. And I've never been in. I love calf kids and stuff. I have calf kids and glasses and I don't know where they've gone. They've been missing for like two years, if not longer. And it's frustrating me because it was like, buy one pair, get one free. And they were the ones I paid for. And I don't know, I've lost them somewhere. I don't know where they went. And it's driving me insane because they were so pretty. Anyway, so we went in and they had a sale on and I went mad. Like there's so much I wanted. But I ended up just getting this. It's like this dinosaur notepad so it was 6.50 down to four pound and you'd be like Tash you have so many notepads so many notepads if you watched my reorganizing my bedroom one of those videos you would know how many notepads I have just just in the bedroom just just in the bedroom just up here so I'm gonna try and open this but at work because obviously I work in a tea shop we have to like replen the shelves all the time and usually we just take some paper out the till roll but I feel kind of bad because this is like a waste and we always have to replace the till roll so one other girl she has her work notepad and I was like that's an ingenious idea I need a work notepad sorry the lighting it keeps coming and going it's a nightmare so I saw this and I needed it it's got dinosaurs it's so cute I don't care if it's from the kids section and it's just lined but but it's a good size and it's perfect for me for work because it's light I can pop it in my bag it's big enough that I'm not going to be like going like wasting pages it means I can write anything down I need at work like replenishing shells I can date it it means I can organize my life a little easier it means I can also write down my shifts and anything I need to write down and then on the back as well like they had stuff it was like the, these guinea pigs at a tea party and i really wanted it and grant was like it literally says kids on it it says calf kids and i was like i don't care if it's for children i want the guinea pig party but anyway i saw this and then the woman at the till was like we have matching pens upstairs and i was like i was like no i'm gonna be good i'm gonna be good i'm just gonna get a notepad i don't need the matching pen I'm trying not to think about it but I just thought it was adorable. I love her stuff. I just think it's just so quaint. And in the shop, I was just like, oh, there's so many designs I didn't know even existed. Like the, the sausage dogs and the guinea pigs. It's so cute. Also, I'm really sad. I really want the tins of soup with her like logos and designs on them. And it's so expensive. It's like four tins of soup for £10. And that's ridiculous. But like... I want them because they look nice and it would just be like aesthetically pleasing in the house. Anyway, so a cute dinosaur, somewhat designer notepad. And then, sorry, my cat is like climbing up where I keep all my dolls. Come here, Quinny. Quinny! 
Pashemi. Maybe one of them will. Nope. Who we got? We got Quinny. She was the best purchase of all. She was a rescue cat. Yeah. Yes, you were. So this is Quinny. If you haven't already met Quinny, she is my. Actually, coming on 17 years of age, Rescue Torty. We rescued her from Edinburgh Cats Protection. And she was 13 and everyone's like, she won't last. 17. Doing strong. Doing stronger than this guy. Ah, nope. Nope, he's ran off. So, we're just going to have Cat here. Okay, and then last of the non kind of makeup purchases, I got Kill All Normies by Angela Nagel. Um, so I kind of heard about this book. My husband recommended this book. Um, so it's Kill All Normies: Online Culture Wars from 4chan and Tumblr to Trump and the alt right. I read the first like the introduction on the bus, and I couldn't stop laughing because. It, the first chapter is called From Hope to Harambe and honestly like she just keeps saying dicks out for Harambe and I forgot that Harambe memes were a thing but it was really interesting how the Harambe thing started off as like a political like people were so like targeting the parents of the kid they were targeting the zoo suddenly people who never cared about a monkey cared about him but then how it became like the alt-right started using it as like a misogynistic racist meme and the actress from Ghostbusters um what was her name uh da -da -da -da. sorry it's really bad and I know her name and I've just forgotten it People used that meme like to have a go at her and being really racist and disgusting and da -da 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 -da. and Leslie Jones, that was her name. And it was so interesting just reading the introduction, which is hilarious because I love memes. I live on the internet. I am a pure millennial internet person. I thought it was hilarious. But it was so interesting to actually read things that like I shared, I laughed at at the time and didn't realise there was this whole other dark side to things on the internet. So it's really, really interesting. It is quite a popular book and definitely if you are like myself, more like alt-left, communist, anarchist person who understands the ways of the internet you definitely enjoy this if you are all right then what the fuck are you doing on my channel um and you probably wouldn't enjoy this well don't maybe read it maybe learn why all the mistakes you're making but anyway really excited to read this it's definitely really funny the way that she writes is hilarious so really looking forward to reading this okay um so yes last few products to Depending what you prefer, maybe, may or may not be more exciting. So, went to Superdrug and they still have their free for two sale. So, I'm actually going to talk about some makeup I got the other day as well because I have been living for some things. So, Superdrug right now have a free for two sale on this. I'll like refresh your spring makeup bag, was like their slogan or something. And I've honestly been making the most of this like sale. I, so I went into the other day and I ended up picking up. I'm just, I'll talk about this palette. This is what I got for free. So this palette here is the Reloaded Iconic Division palette by Revolution. And it is amazing. I think it's supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia subculture palette. I mean, definitely with these orange, like these three colours here, this shimmery green. I don't own the subculture palette, but from what I've seen, I know there's these colours are definitely. And I freaking love this 
palette and what I like is if you were to go down like each row you would have I've not done this because I just mixed them all up but if you were to go down each row you could have a look maybe not this row because that's two shimmers you could have a look and it's a really good mix of mattes and shimmers and like this bronze shimmer here like look at that it's like freaking liquid metal it's just amazing and I'll just watch a couple of other shades because it is such a pigment aid palette and it is so soft as well like I feel like Makeup Revolution I always feel like they were always good on their eyeshadows there's just a few shades there but I feel like they've really upped their game and I love this palette. I've created so many looks with this. One, I did one the other day and it was a bit too dark. It went a bit too muddy because dark shadows just don't sit on me very well. I'm wearing very colourful. I'm wearing a mixture of Naked Heat. If you're wondering what I'm wearing on my eyes, I'm wearing a mixture of Naked Heat and the Lime Crime Pocket Candy palette in pink lemonade I'm wearing a mixture of them today just in case you're wondering not any of these but I do love this and I feel like I never wear green greens are colors I've never worn on my eyes and I'm really liking wearing these more cool toned colors because usually I'm very warm toned very sparkly you know, but I'm really, really loving this palette. So I think I might get a few more. Like, I, I say this, I have a drawer full of palettes and I'm struggling to even close the drawer. I don't need more palettes, but... I thought I'd just mention these just because I got them in this sale. And then I also picked up the Revolution Foundation Stick and I am loving this. This is in the shade F1. So it's a stick foundation. I've never used a stick foundation before. I'll try and swatch it. So it is really pale. And it's one of the few foundations I found that is actually pale enough for my face. And I love this. This isn't getting enough love. My skin, as I said, my skin is oily. So my oils still break through on this product. But they don't break through as bad. It doesn't break down as much at the end of the day. And it doesn't get as cakey as some other foundations do. And as you can tell, like it is definitely pale enough for my skin. And then the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, which everybody is talking about right now. And this is amazing. I don't own the shape tape. Again, this is in the shade C1, the lightest shade that they have. Although I think they brought out more. I like that this is really neutral undertones, it's not yellow, it's just white and I love it. This covers everything, everything on my face. I do have quite bad acne and none of my concealers cover it, all my spots show through and I've this is the first concealer I've ever found that truly, so I'm just going to wipe off these swatches truly actually takes like the redness out of my face it covers my spots I don't need to reapply it once I put the foundation on like it's just magic I just needed to mention it because I'd seen like everyone talk raving about the concealer and I needed a new foundation anyway and I love them it's my new favorite combo is just these I will be repurchasing these in a heartbeat but that concealer, foundation and eyeshadow palette, I got for £9. I got all three of them for under a tenner on this free for two sale. It's amazing. I love the sale. So, not all Superdrugs sell e.l.f. makeup. And I'm so excited that some of them are finally selling e.l.f. Because it's just one of those brands that America has that we don't have in the UK. And it's always pissed me off because they're affordable and everyone loves them. So I went into Superdrug today on Princess Street and they had an elf counter. And I was like, oh my god, yes, 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 yes. So they didn't have much. A lot of it was just like basic like face products and a lot of it was sold out. But I needed a new primer and an eye primer and that's what I got. So I picked up the elf 
shadow lock eyelid primer um no idea if this is any good it's so weird actually getting makeup in packaging i feel very american all of a sudden like like i was joking about that with some people we were like what do you wish we had in the uk that we have in america and to me i was like i want a sephora although apparently there's a sephora in london but i was like i've never been to london i want an ulta and i want a target i want the shops i want the choice i want the makeup <laughs> i want the makeup brands um so no idea if this is any good but elf was just one of those brands that everyone talks about that i wanted to try and i needed a new eyeshadow primer so I picked this up and that's how it looks yep just comes with a little doe foot applicator nothing exciting can't swatch it because it's a eye primer and then i also picked up the tone adjusting face primer i'll take out the packaging because everything's glaring so they only had they were kind of all out of primers which is a bit annoying because that's really only what i went in for but i do have a lot of redness in my face i have a lot of bad acne Ooh, i love the like frosted glass bottle that's really nice and it's got like a big lid and a nice pump See, that's why people like e.l.f. because like their packaging is really good and I like it doesn't look like cheap packaging so this is yeah the neutralizing green one see if it how it blends out Ooh, that's a lot greener and thicker than I pictured I know it's like swatching a primer but I wanted to see if it okay it blends to like nothing but that feels so smooth that feels ridiculously smooth it's like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. it feels so smooth so I picked that up as well and then I also picked up this real techniques brush because I could always do with more eyeshadow brushes you know what's really funny it's one of my favorite eyeshadow brushes this one here it says my brushes need wash this is angled shader brush it's an angled blending brush. I got this in New Look years ago. And this is my favourite brush for doing like under like the waterline. I got a New Look for like a couple of quid. And that's my favourite brush. And I never go into New Look. Because I always go like, go to New Look. They do your favourite brushes. But does anyone else ever find like eye brushes like difficult to find? Like I find so many face brushes. But when it actually comes to eye brushes. So... I like Real Techniques brushes. So packaging's huge. This did cost a tenner just for one brush, but yeah, so it's got this kind of like, I don't even tell, it's kind of like squared off. And there's like this purple glitter, and then it's just like a really nice shader. It's, oh my god, it's so soft. It is so freaking soft. And it's sparkly and really nice. So I got this just because I need a good shader, like crease brush. So this is their 305. And I just thought it was really pretty. And it's in collaboration with Sam and Nick. Are they YouTubers? They were inspired by the latest holographic pastel and glitter trends. So it claims that it's got ultra plush bristles, synthetic bristles, flourish results, easy clean, long lasting, no streaks, no product build up. So I'm assuming if it's synthetic bristles that would make it cruelty free, but I can't guarantee the cruelty free status. If anyone knows, let me know. Yes, yeah, so it says it's engineered for performance, but designed to be Instagrammable, like your latest lipstick shade. This crush isn't here to stay. Isn't here to stay? Should I not say is here to stay? Because that's kind of implying that this brush is not going to last. Oh well, this is the 305 shadow brush regardless. If the free for two sale wasn't on, I probably, even though I did pay full price for this, I probably wouldn't have bought it anyway. So, yeah, I thought it seemed nice. And then the last couple of things I got are from Flush. So, 
so went into Lush and got a couple of things. So I got my tried and true trusted Temple Balm. My dream time. I love this. I have not been sleeping. I'm not going to put down that my bad sleeping is down to running out of this since my last haul. But I can say this played a factor because I've become very reliant on this. And this, oh, it smells so good. So it's just like a balm that you rub into your temples and it's supposed to help you sleep. And it's made with like lavender and chamomile. They also have a wake up one, which is like the grapefruit one, like the shower gel. Now these are only sold online or in a Lush that also has a spa. So if you're wondering why your Lush doesn't have one, if it's not a spa Lush, it won't have it. It was really awkward going in today. Like, as I said, I used to work there and uh, I mean, I didn't leave under the best circumstances and the person who made me leave was there and we had this awkward moment because I haven't seen this person since I left like two years ago. This awkward like we just looked at each other and I was like, bitch, no. <laughs> and then someone else was like, you look really familiar. I was like, I used to work here. <laughs> we used to work together. But it was just a bit of an odd atmosphere because it was a lot of people who, there was a lot of new people obviously, but there was a lot of people I think don't like me because I used to work there and left. It's like a weird thing. It's when you leave, nobody likes you when you leave. Sorry, I know I've moaned about Lush before on this channel and I'm not, I'm not going to moan anymore because I remember it was just a bit of an awkward shopping experience today. And that kind of sucked, but I didn't care because I'm still going to buy the product. I mean, Grant was like, you're so brave. He worked in like a shoe for like a month and he had to quit because of health reasons and he's never been back in. I go in all the time. I go in for him. And he's like, I would never go back there. And that was years and years ago. It's like they wouldn't even remember him. <laughs> but anyway. And then I also picked up some Ultra Bland, which of course is a cult favourite facial cleanser. This is a really amazing makeup remover. You just rub into your face and then wipe off with a damp cotton pad. You can also just use it as like a daily cleanser, like moisturizer. It's just an all round amazing product. It's a cult classic product for a reason. But if you want a vegan alternative, the 9 to 5 cleanser is like the vegan alternative to Ultra Bland because this does have honey in it. Well, it's got beeswax. So. Just in case you're ever like, I can't get it because I'm vegan, the 9 to 5 is a vegan alternative, just not many people know that. Um, so yes, and then we got a couple of other things. This one we got for Ivy and it goes against everything I stand for. Because to me, when Lush brought this out, I was just like, you just went from being like, they're not this small, cute indie brand that everyone thinks they are. They're a big chain, they're a capitalist brand. But to me, I was like... Your capitalism is showing with this product. And I think it's ridiculous. But my daughter would love it. Ivy would love this. It goes against everything I stand for. But Ivy would love this. And it is the fidget spinner bubble bar. I, I get it. I get it. It's Fidget spinners were a thing for a hot minute. I'm surprised they're still selling these. Because who even like talks or plays with fidget spinners anymore? But Ivy loves her fidget spinner and she really gets stuff from Lush because of her skin, but her skin's not doing too bad right now. Plus, I mean, I understand it's a bit easier. I, I get how this works better as a bubble bar, being able to spin it because bubble bars are a bit of a pain sometimes to work. So we picked that up for Ivy and then I got myself a bath bomb. I just got a small one. Um, and I got the butter ball, which is RuPaul's favourite bath bomb. I remember reading that. So I just got this one, which is a nice one. I did want, like, I love the jelly bath bombs, but oh my god, be so careful if you use them and get out your bath because you will slip. I learned that the hard way. Sorry, I didn't mean to rant about my old job. I just. Being in a new job has made me realise like how badly treated I was at my old job and I know I have friends who still work there, I have friends who work in different stores, I have friends who used to work there and we've all had different experiences. I get that. I'm not coming for Lush as a brand. 
I feel I have to say this because I am currently working in retail. I don't want to get in trouble with my current job. Well, not that I would, but... Or future jobs. It's just... We've all been there. We've all had a bad job and a bad experience. And I'm just kind of saying, although I had a really, really horrible time working for the company, I still use the products. I still... Like most of their ethos, I think... I'm going to do, maybe one day I will finally do a video on my honest to God opinions on Lush, what it's like to work there, what happens behind the scenes that people don't see. I don't know. I feel like I would get in so much trouble for making that video. I know there's a popular blog post about people who kind of vent about working there, but I know that they come under attack from the company and I get it they I, I get it but comment below if it's something you would be interested if I actually did do like a video or maybe like I'm gonna say an anonymous blog but you know who I am you see my face you know or like a blog post about it I could probably be a little bit less emotional writing that um or not because I kind of feel like I learned a lot from that job I learned a lot of like how I needed to stick up for myself more so if it's something that you'd want to be like how do you deal with a shit job I don't know I don't know comment below if it's something that you would be interested in seeing because it's one of those things that it does bother me I left that job two years ago and it still bothers me especially being in this amazing job now um it just yeah I don't know it just bugs me it just a lot of things happened and it's the one of those things that I kind of feel like I'm too scared to talk about publicly and then that annoys me more and I'm this a video is ending on such a negative note okay I'm gonna stop because I probably won't even cut this out the video because I can't be bothered anyway uh apart from my bit of a bit of a rant and honestly if you're watching this and you work at Lush or you used to or you worked with me don't take it personally it was just my own experience that was negative and it's just one of those things that I clearly just need to talk about in one way or another I just don't know if it's something the internet wants to hear that's what I'm saying and that's all I'm saying so I do apologize for that but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please comment down below with any other video ideas or anything you'd like to see from me hear from me if you have any of these makeup products bath bombs clothes if you've read the book but don't give spoilers comment below I love hearing from you all so yes anyway so I'm going to wrap it up. I'm not going to go over my bot apart from there was primer, there was books, boxing equipment, bath bombs, shirts and ties, gym clothes and a cat. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to try and wrap this up. I'm going to try and get better at whizzing for videos instead of making 35, 36 minute long videos. I hope you all have a great day, whatever it is you're doing. And yes, I'll see you all in my next video. And take care now.